carburetors. All right, so how does the carburetor work? First things first, most important thing is I gotta do my hair. You know what I'm saying? Now if you notice, when I do my hair, I use uh, high pressure volumes of, hair, of air. The hair goes with it like a magnet. It goes like with a magnet, like sucks to it, right? So um, that's the principle of a carburetor. What happens is you have air coming across from here, and as it goes through, there's a little straw inside. And let me demonstrate. So imagine you have water, well, you would have gasoline or fuel, and then you would have a little straw inside there. Now, when I blow the air across, think of, you got a question to ask yourself. Do you think that the water, that, that sorry, the air is gonna go down and blow bubbles like this? Do you think it's gonna go down or do you think it's gonna make the water come out? All right, so here we go, ready? The Lewy principle. And you can, I won't shoot the camera. But. Okay, so what's happening is that you have a low pressure area that's attracted to the high volume uh, or, or the high pressure air, right? And this is a similar situation. Now, let's look at the carburetor for a second. We can actually make this happen on the carburetor as well. So here we go. So what's happening is that instead of a bottle of water, you have what's called a bowl right here. And there's a little jet, which is a straw. But this is just a pencil, or sorry, a pen with no ink in it. And it goes right there. Now let's take a look at what that looks like on a drawing. All right, let me take the camera. Okay, so if you look here, you got your your cup, right? That has that it draws up the volume of water and sprays it right out. Now, if you look at the bowl right here, actually hold this for me. Right here is the bowl. Okay, and here's what's called the jet. And there are many different type types. And then you have air. Now you have a venturi where it cinches it down so the air coming in gets pressurized. And because of it, it goes faster because of the force. And so then it pulls that liquid out and becomes like a spray. And this becomes the air fuel mixture. Okay. Uh, now what happens is Eventually, this liquid goes down. So how do you refill that, right? Now, this is gonna sound funny, but it's actually like a toilet bowl. The same principle, right? You have a, a tank with a float, right? So come back over here. And what happens is there's a, there's a float. It usually looks like a ring, okay? It looks like a donut, right? With a hinge on it and it opens a valve. Let's take a look exactly what that looks like. All right, so move the drawing and we'll open this up. Now it's got liquid in there because we, we set it up like that originally so we could do our demo. Oops. Okay, so now if you take a look, there's a float, right? And what that float does what the float does is when the water level or the gasoline level goes low, it actually opens a valve and that valve is connected to your fuel line. So there's no computer, no computer, no, no electronics. This is analog at its best. And there's just a little valve and we can actually look at that valve. If we pull the pin, we can pull this out. That's what the valve looks like. It's just a little stopper and then it goes right back in there on a hinge with the, let's put the pin back in, Doing a, making it like a fast video for you guys. And that's how it works, this is your bowl. Now sometimes you hear about after a winter season of not using your, your lawnmower, it tends to not work and it's because the gasoline's sitting in the bowl and it gets gummed up and it's not working properly. Anyway, that's basically it. But more important than any of, the, any of that is you know, how you do your hair in the morning, all right?
All right, I'm Mr. G. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bonus section. What is the choke and what is the throttle? Let's take a look. Okay, if your fuel's coming in here, this is where your, uh, your filter is. The air filter, right? When it comes in, okay, it has to pass through a gate here and then here, okay? Now, this gate looks like this. It looks like a, they call it a butterfly valve, but it's basically a circle that opens the pathway, closes the pathway. So when they're like, full throttle, burn, nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's for my boy James Humphrey. Humphrey? How do you say it? That guy's awesome. Anyway, Donut, we're looking out for you. Get better, man. He wasn't well recently, but he's gonna recover. Anyway, so, um, okay, so this here is your valve, right? Okay, but that goes to, let's say, you know, something that moves it back and forth. That's called a throttle. All right, now over here is similar situation, but on the other side, like this, but it has a click. It's either clicked on or clicked off, like this. No variation, just on or off, right? Okay, that's the choke, all right? Now, what happens is, if you have air coming in, okay, actually, I reversed everything. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's reversed, hold on. This part, yeah. Okay, the air fuel mixture, the choke would be here. This is my fault. That's okay, we'll leave it in the video. I'm not perfect. And that's chalk, by the way. <laughs> okay, this is choke. All right, now what happens is, if you restrict this, by the way, over here, there's a vacuum. Okay, now, the reason there's a vacuum is because of the intake stroke on the engine. If you don't know the four stroke process, you can check my other video. Basically, it's intake, compression, combustion, exhaust. On the intake, it's like a vacuum. Now, once you have that vacuum going, you can use that. So if you choke the air, you're gonna pull more fuel out of here. The, the ratio won't be correct, but it'll be better for startup. Then this is the throttle. Okay? And then what happens is you're changing the air fuel mixture using the, using the uh, choke first, wide open and wide open here, it'll just rely on this to mix it, the jet. Okay, all right, I hope that helped. Uh, think about it, when you choke the throttle, you're basically restricting the air, which then brings more fuel and your air fuel ratio has to be correct, all right? Uh, if you open the throttle and you open the choke, you're wide open, as they say. Okay, all right. I'm Mr. G. That was your bonus. See you later. Bonus, bonus. You can adjust the idle. So if you look here, this is closed, right? But if you adjust this screw, you would slightly open the throttle permanently at lowest amount. So this is full throttle. This, if you put your pedal to the floor, this would be closed, but you can adjust the amount it's closed with your idle screw, okay? And this here is just on off of the, of the inlet of the fuel. So you'd turn this off, run it dry at the end of the season. If your float stops floating, then it's not gonna work right. And you gotta keep all this clean. All this stuff has to be super clean. Here's your gasket right here. Okay, that's basically it. I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I don't know why you're watching the video. If you're watching the video because you're trying to fix your lawnmower, yes, it's probably the fuel is gumming because it's like it's like a glue when it condenses. You got to clean all that out. Uh, if you're watching the video because you're trying to learn about cars, good. I hope this helped. Think about it. You're choking the fuel. You're choking the air. More fuel. You're 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 running through the the jet, which is the straw. Remember this, right? This still works really well, right? That's what it looks like inside your carburetor.
okay? If you're watching this video uh, because, why well, would, I don't know, I, because for fun, I hope you had fun, all right? Most important thing is to have fun, all right? So, you know. Yeah, you gotta, you know. Okay. All right, I'm Mr. G. See you later.